What is happening in the market here in San Diego here in September of 2018? Hey everyone, Ryan Ahern here. I've been asked a lot of questions lately, but the number one question that's been coming up is what's happening in the market? What's changing? I'm a little nervous, not sure what's going on. Can you help me out with that? So I decided to make this little video and explain what's happening in our market right now. There's a couple things that we look at. Number one is the new listings that are hitting the market. And that number is up 12.9% from last year. And that is a significant number because we look at this every month, that number hasn't been changing very much until now. Now we're seeing more homes being put on the market. The second thing that we look at is the number of homes that are coming off of the market. And what I mean by that is the ones that are receiving acceptable offers or, or offers worth accepting and putting them in escrow or pending status. And that number is actually down 6.1%, which is a little different than what we've been seeing in the past few months as well. So more homes hitting the market, less are coming off. The next thing that we look at would be the days on market. What I mean by that is the number of days that a home is on the market before uh, receiving an offer worth accepting. And that number is up 3.8%. So homes are sitting on the market a little long right now, a little longer right now. And so what does that mean? That means that the inventory level is going to change. The inventory level is the number of homes that are on the open market at any, any given time. And that number right now is up 19.8%, which is a lot more than we, what we've been seeing in the past few months. So what does all this mean? Well, I guess if you're a buyer, what that means is like most buyers that were looking to purchase over the summer or even April and May, who got frustrated and threw in the towel and said, I'm not doing this anymore because they were running into the same situation over and over. And what that is, is they submit an offer and they're one of 12 offers on the property. And then that property has been on the market for three days and all of the offers are significantly above the asking price. That can be very frustrating. So. The difference to what we see now is that you're going to have more options, more time and less competition. So I would encourage you to jump back in the market because this is going to be a different experience than it was several months ago. Now, as if you're a seller, how this affects you, if you put your home on the market, you can expect it to be sitting on the market a little bit longer than we've been experiencing before receiving an acceptable offer. I would expect less showings and I would expect fewer occasions of multiple offer situations. So what that means to you most importantly is that now more than ever, it really means that you need to be, make sure you're hiring the right person for the job, the right agent that can understand the market, understand the changes that we're experiencing and how to adapt to that. If you do that, then you will still get the results of record-breaking prices that, that we're seeing here on my team as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If myself or my team can help you either buy a home, sell a home, invest in real estate, or just answer any questions that you might have about today's market, feel free to reach out. We'd love to connect with you.